Hey guys, today I will show you how I fixed the uh, Wi-Fi not turning on issue on this uh, Android TV box. So on the TV you can use uh, this TV box to play uh, a lot of videos and as long as it's Android it should be the same. This issue could affect all these uh, boxes be it uh, the uh, Metricom Midnight MX2 or this uh, Chinese clone I bought called MX box um, or uh, Joy box as long as it's Android TV uh, TV box uh, it's the Wi-Fi works the same it should, could have the same issue so, uh, so here's a symptom then I'll tell you the solution now when I turn on the box on this right hand there should be a, a right here there sh should be this uh, Wi-Fi signal uh, showing but the other day I want to turn on it's nothing here so I figured hey maybe I didn't turn on the uh, Wi-Fi I just put on the the Ethernet so here's what you go to go to the settings so right on this screen what I normally see I mean this should be like this, but the other day I saw here is off and it's grayed out. So when I click here, it doesn't just show this on blue button, it shows a grayed button, grayed out button. There's no list of available hotspot right on the screen. Instead, when you click turn on, it says turning on Wi Fi, but it's stuck on that screen. Nothing is turning on, nothing is showing up. Okay, so basically that's uh, the the symptom. Because if there's no list of hot spots for you to to log onto, you can't get Wi-Fi signal right? unless you're using Ethernet direct connection. Uh, then your Xbox, your Android TV box is useless. So let me show you the solution. So first of all, you need to get some kind of a file manager file explorer so I would recommend this one ES file explorer this is very popular it's in the Android market it's a, it's a best seller I mean it's free but it's very popular so install this on your Android system and open it any other file manager will do but this one like I said is, is most popular now what you need to do first, you go to the left side panel, see uh, if I scroll down, probably near the bottom, depending on how you configure your file manager. There are these settings. So by default, this root explorer is turned off and the show hidden files is turned off. So, which means it's not showing all the hidden or system files and your root explorer is, is not on. So, unless you turn these two on, you won't be able to see, see the fix or the files when you fix. So, turn this on. Once you turn on these, I mean, when you turn on the root explorer, let me show you. Turn it off. When you turn on the root explorer for the first time, it will ask you for the one key install. And don't worry about the root rooting problem. Uh, a lot of people ask, um, my box is not rooted, what's going on? Uh, well, if you have this Android TV box, chances are it's, it is rooted from the factory. And uh, the root explorer will work. So you just click one key install. Then root explorer is on. And then you go to your local local files. It's most likely is uh, on your system should be slash device. If you go there, so on the right hand, there's this f file folder called data. Click data, and go in there. So if you haven't turned on the root explorer, this will be empty. But now it's showing all the system files. Okay, so. This uh, remote is really hard to use. I 
because you don't know where it is. Okay, there you go. So where you need to go, find misc miscellaneous file. Go to there. Again, if there's no Rudy Floor, you won't see anything. But anyway, so here we are. Under MISC, so under we have, we have now under enter the data MISC, and here is the, the, the file folder Wi-Fi final file folder. So once you're in here, you can see all these subsequent files P2P subsequent and WPA sub subsequent. So you, basically, you need to delete the WPA sub WPA underscore subsequent file. You see it deleted. And basically, your that's, this file is malfunctioning. If you delete it, it system will probably gen, re, regenerate the same file. But anyway, just uh, whatever you see here, if you see if you're having this issue, you see the WPA underscore subsequent in here. Just delete how you delete it. How delete select the file in here. Uh, so basically, if you connect the mouse to it, and it's pretty easy. But if you don't have a mouse. The remote is kind of hard to use. Okay, so when you get to here, for example, if you want to delete this file, long press, show you the remote. In the middle, it's, it's okay, right? Put your, uh, highlight this file, long press the OK button for a few seconds, then release. It shows a check mark. So that means you select this file, then go down to the, the bottom bottom here highlight this delete you see this the, the gray area I just highlighted delete then press it and confirm with OK then this file will be deleted once deleted your Wi-Fi signal on the right hand corner right top corner will show a Wi-Fi strength indicator that means your Wi-Fi is back on and just select any available Wi-Fi, then your TV box will be working. And that's it. Thank you for watching.